In this video, we will go about placing each of our Automoblox car subassemblies and constrain them together. So we're going to go ahead and start a new assembly file. So I'm going to go to File and go to New, and I'm going to go to English and Standard IAM for Inventor Assembly and go to Create. And the first assembly we will place together will be the um, passenger subassembly. So let's place this, since this will be in the middle, I'm going to go to Open, left-click to Place, right-click, and say OK. And I'm going to kind of flip around my view cube once again just to make sure everything's exactly the way I want it. And I'm going to right-click on the word left, set current view as front, and I'm going to go up to my, I kind of like this corner for my isometric, right-click, set current view as home, and fit to view. I like to do that at the beginning of each time I place a beginning part, just to kind of give us a reference of what's going to be our front view. I'm going to go to Place, and I'm going to go to my front end subassembly and go to open. And I'm going to left click to place, right click, and say OK. Now there's going to be multiple ways that we can go about placing these together. So a, a couple things that you can do is to start out again by mating uh, corners. So along here, like there's two corners here because this is rounded off. So it's about where do you want to actually constrain it to. Same thing here, this is rounded off on the side. There's multiple ways you can constrain this. So let's say that, you know, you could come in and say, you know, I want to mate this surface to this surface right here. And obviously those are that's going to mate. And we can go to apply. And then we can flush the sides. So I can zoom in here and say I want to flush this side to this side and say apply. And then go to the bottom of my car and flush the bottom to the bottom and say apply. That should right away perfectly get us lined up. You're going to notice there's a little bit of a gap in here because these edges are rounded off. But you're pretty much fine with how that fit together. So we're going to go ahead and say done. Let's go to place. We're going to go to truck bed assembly and we're going to go to open, place it on the back, right click and say OK. Real simple again, constrain, mate that face to that face, just what faces are going to touch. Mate face to face, apply, let's go to flush. I want to flush this surface with this surface and it's going to move up, apply. Then I want to flush this surface and this surface, say apply. And the car is now completely put together. So. You'll notice that we don't really have any like grooves. There is that groove in here I talked about. That's because we have these filleted rounded off edges. But notice that with that, those three sub-assemblies, it's really easy to do. So one of the things you could do as a class is make these three separately, or you could, you know, have groups put these together, sub-assemblies, then share them together, and then they have to put them together um, on their own. So that's a really, really fast and easy way to put together the sub-assembly. We've had some people in the past that had a problem with these lining up perfectly you know down the middle and one of the things you can do is if you go back to your front end if you can see if there's a plane that goes right down through the center it doesn't appear that there is one um, like double click on let's say the front end you're in the sub assembly here so if I double click on the front end and I say you know let's do a mid plane between two planes and I come around to the opposite side over here and zoom in on that surface and I have a plane here go to return twice because I'll have to go back to the main assembly and let's say you know your passenger section is just not lining up with it and I'm gonna double click on my passenger section and I'm gonna see if there is a plane that sliced that down the middle I'm not entirely sure if that plane sliced it down the middle so let's go to a little bit of a side view that plane does let's right click and go to visibility it looks like the plane we did for our other front end doesn't line up we go to return and return again let's go back to that front end and it looks like that work plane I made didn't slice it in half that's okay though. It's totally okay. We're going to go back to the origin up here and it looks like this plane does though in my T9 front. So I'm just going to right click on this and go to visibility. Let's go to return and return again. Now if I go back let's pretend that things weren't lining up. It looks to me like I perfectly have this aligned but you could have gone to constrain and say I want this plane right here to mate to this plane. So you could say plane to plane, it's probably going to tell me that that's going to over constrain it if I say apply because it already exists. That's why we already have this perfectly lined up. So that right there is a way you can go about constraining these to where they perfectly line up right down the middle together. I'm going to turn off the visibility for that and I'm going to go back to my uh, T9 um, passenger section down here. I'm going to go back down here and find that and go ahead and turn off the visibility for that other plane if I can find it here. There's my T9 front. It's my passenger section I have to turn off. So come up here to the top. Oh, there it is right there. Just saw it. Why is he playing? Visibility. So that's one of the ways. There's another way you can go about, you know, constraining some things together is by using planes down the center. That's just one of the things I wanted to cover before I ended the video that, you know, we went ahead and put it together real simple. One mate and two flushes. 
easy way to go about putting these sub assemblies together as opposed to putting the whole car together with multiple parts. So this has been a video on how to constrain sub assemblies in Autodesk Inventor for the Automoblox car.